Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Haris Jafri and today we are going to understand the concept of uh, move command and uh, copy command uh, in Linux. So let's get started. I will open my, I will get inside my terminal. I'll type the password. So as we can see, this is this is essentially the desktop, and uh, on the desktop there are two, three files, movies, age, and surname. And uh, visually, it is quite apparent that surname and age are text files, and uh, movies is a directory. If I go inside movies, there are three directories which I have made. One is 2022, another one is 2023, and the third one is the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, there is nothing inside of these files. So I'm just giving you a visual outlook. Uh, this is not how you are going to work. We have to confirm everything from terminal. So let's confirm first who am I, the standard practice, and where am I. All right, so I'm on the desktop. Let's list all the files. There are three files, age, movies, and surname. We have visually seen them. Just to confirm from uh, command line interface, yes, movies is a directory. And uh, this age is a text file, yes. So, uh, what, 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 what we just saw visually, uh, it's something like this, right? So, essentially, what we have is that uh, the root directory contains uh, home directory. Inside home directory, there is a directory by the name of uh, OS boxes. Now, OS boxes might have many directories, but uh, two of them, two of them are one is desktop. And another one is document. So there might be many directories inside home OS boxes, but I have just listed two of them. Now, as we have seen this part visually, so desktop contains essentially three files inside of it. All right. So one file was age, another is surname, and another was movies. Inside movies directory, there were three directories inside of it. We have just seen this visually. We have just seen this visually. Now, what we will do is we will try to move this this file by the name of age from desktop to documents. All right. Then we will try to move this movies directory from desktop to documents. All right. So let's let's check it out how to do it. So let's confirm ls. All right. So, in order to move, you have to give uh, the command mv. This is the command which is used to move a file from one position to another position. Now, you have to give the name of the file. Uh, I generally prefer to use the absolute path of the file. So, absolute path of the file is home, OS boxes, desktop, and the name of the file is age. So, I want to move, I want to move this file this file age and the complete address or absolute path of this file is this so i want to move this file to which location i want to move it to home os boxes and i want to move it to documents let's check now if i right now i am in desktop folder now if i press ls uh, the age file should not be there so I press ls and indeed the age file is not present. Now if I press ls and I give the path of documents, home, os, boxes, documents, it will list me all the files in the documents directory. Yes. So what we have done is that we have moved this age file from here to here we have essentially moved the age file from uh, desktop to documents now what about this directory movies let's check this out now if i want to move a directory i will just name the directory right 
the name of the directory was movies and I want to move this directory I want to move this directory I'm sorry I want to move this directory from here I want it to be moved to home OS boxes documents will I be able to do that let's check this out enter indeed uh, this uh, movies directory was moved let's check only the surname is left all right so let's get both of these files back to their original position so let's let's go to this uh, home os boxes and let's go to this documents directory list the files yes all right so let's move home os boxes documents movies and let's get them to home os boxes desktop now if i press enter it will move back to its original position sometimes let's create a file first let's move the first uh, the age file from deck documents to directory again move home os boxes documents age and let's move it back to its original position and now clear ls oh i have to go back as well so home i have to go back home os boxes desktop i have to go to desktop now let's type ls now inside movies let's go inside movies change change directory and let's get inside movies let's make a file here touch you can make a file by the name of vim as well so vim will directly open the text editor and you can edit it all out and then you can save and quit and the file will be made so let's make uh, uh, batman vim batman let's make it txt all right so i will press i for insert uh, this was a very good movie all right escape colon save quit forcefully all right so now i have uh, three three directories and one text file so let's edit it here as well so there is a text file here as well now right uh, batman So there is a text file here as well inside movies and remember this age has gone back to its original position we have just I have just showed you that age has gone back to its original position so this is the file structure right now now let's try to this move this uh, uh, this file from here to here MV home os boxes desktop movies and i want to move it from here to home os boxes documents all right so i have now moved this entire folder this entire folder this entire folder from here So I have moved this entire folder from here to from desktop to documents. All right. All right. Let's copy this entire folder back into the documents. Let's do this. CP home OS boxes documents movies and I want to copy this to home os boxes all right home os boxes desktop 
Now, if I press enter, it's omitting the directories. All right. So what we can do is that we can type cp hyphen r recursive. You have to use the recursive flag because there are directories inside directories. So you can home OS boxes, documents, movies, and you want to copy this to home OS boxes desktop. Now, uh, even the directories will be copied. This will be copied. This is now copied here. So, cp command, what is the nomenclature? cp command, path of file, path of file. And destination path. All right. And same for MV move command. So it's essentially the same path of file and destination. Sometimes the directory gets omitted. So in order to avoid that, you use the hyphen R flag, which stands for recursive. So this is what copy and move in Linux is all about. I highly encourage you to practice it all out. You will get better. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much.